Tere kallid, pöffi susid. Tees on Pöff TV ja meil tuleb juttu filmist Soul at Night. Ehk siis eesti keeles öös on inimesi. Ja selle filmi maailma esilinastus toimub ka sellel tänavusel Pöffil. Ja selleks puhuks on meil külas filmi peaose täitja Ken Tucker Audley. This doesn't get any easier. Eight hours is the path to a better, healthy, and more productive you. Less stress, less crime, less mental illness. The results are irrefutable. Did you know that 98% of people would categorize themselves as healthy and productive this week? Well, it's true. Curfew will be in effect in less than two hours. I did this for my family. I sacrificed everything. I did what I had to do to provide. So, welcome, Ken Tucker. How Thank are you? you? Uh, very well. Nice, very to, well. nice to be here. I, I, I'm, I'm loving Tallinn. Great city. Yeah, happy to be here. First time. First time. So, this is a world premiere. Are you? How do you feel about that? Excited, nervous. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, the director couldn't join me. I'm, I'm just the actor, so, you know, I, I, I approach these projects differently than, than a director would. Um, but I'm happy to be representing the film, and I think it's a, a, a great movie. I'm excited for people to see it. It, it took a while to, to form it. We shot it a while back, and it, 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 took, it took a little bit longer than, than normal to, to put this thing together. And, uh, but mm -hmm. I think it's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with the result and excited to share it with audiences. That's great. So, what kind of, why did it take so long? It's a tricky movie because it's, uh, it's very uh, quiet and minimal. Mm -hmm. And it's it's so much about the atmosphere and, and 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 the small moments and gestures and it's it's not sort of just copy and paste story. Yeah. It's uh, it really it's it, it's re really about the sm the small gestures and small uh, movements and relationships between characters. And there's not a lot of dialogue. And uh, there's a lot of solitaire, solid, solitude and loneliness, and uh, it's, it's, a, it's just an atmospheric piece that it really, if it, it, if it doesn't quite gel in the, in the way that it's supposed to be, it, it, it's, it's boring. It could be very boring. A lot of the early cuts were very boring. Okay. And, um, you know, there's something to be say, said for slow, slow cinema and, and minimal applauding, but I, I think we wanted it to also pack quite, quite an emotional punch as well, uh, uh, accumulated over time. Uh -huh. Yeah, this, this film is quite like a genre mash, mash I would say. It has like a lot of different uh, types of cinema in it, like slice of life mm -hmm. kind of, and also science fiction. Yeah. What, what what how would you describe it like uh, as a film? Yeah, that that's what we were trying to do is is this merging of of naturalism and, and low key uh, realism and also inject some sci-fi genre elements where it, it doesn't quite take place in the real world and people mm. don't quite act the way that you, you normally see them on a day to day basis. Um, so that, that was the balancing act of trying to merge those two worlds. And a lot of times in sci-fi and genre movies, the acting is so elevated and there's, so, there's such a sense of um, theatricality or, or plot or uh, action. In this movie, it's, it's sci-fi, but it's very low-key, very um, related to the emotions of the characters and really it's a, more of a character study. Mm -hmm. Where we're following a, a guy who's mostly alone throughout the whole the whole film, 
and his interior um, state of mind and, and what happens when he, he does meet somebody unexpectedly and, and is forced to confront um, a, a different presence, much less one that doesn't speak his language, doesn't communicate in the way that he communicates. Yeah, maybe we can uh, kind of uh, give the audience uh, an idea of what the film is about. Do, do you know, like, where did this idea came from? Come from that the curfew idea of the film that it's like 16 hours, people are uh, living their life, and then eight hours they are like mandatory, have to they have to sleep. Yeah. So the movie takes place in a world where um, there's a government mandated curfew where yeah. all the citizens are asleep at night for a certain length of time and there's uh, the, the lead character played by me is uh, the only person who's awake at night and this is sort of a mysterious experiment it's sort of the heart of the, of the film is what what is this experiment and um, how, wh how long will it last how long has it has it been lasting and um, so it, it's, it's vague the way that we present it, what this experiment means but mm -hmm. the, and what it's trying to achieve. But the, really it's an it's a opportunity to dive into the, the dynamics of, 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 of disconnection from your family, disconnection from your society. And the, the sci-fi elements are, are there to serve more of the underlying character study elements. Mm -hmm. how, how did you prepare for the role? Like? Well, I usually don't prepare at all. <laughs> okay. Uh, but... If you read the script... I did, read, I, 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 I did prepare for this one in a different way um, because it was, it was a new world for me. Usually I'm very improvi improvisational oh. and figuring it out as I go. And so much of my process is just working with the actor, the other actors and actresses and playing off them. But this one, I, I'm pretty much alone for the whole time. So I had to prepare in a different way. But, um, but it was a, a brilliant script and I really resonated, it re resonated with me right away. For this film, I, I prepared in kind of an unusual way. I, I, every, every morning before shooting, I would, I would um, talk into a tape recorder and in, in character try to speak to the family. Um, I, the, the movie takes place, I, I can't speak with my fa I live in the same house with them, but I can't speak with them because they're mm -hmm. as asleep while I'm awake. Um, so I prepared by recording these long monologues into, into my voice rec recorder as if I was speaking to them, what I'd be saying to them, what, I, what I'm thinking about currently in my life, what I'm excited about, what I'm scared about, what I'm frustrated about. Um, so these just daily monologues help me get into the mindset set of somebody who's trying to communicate with somebody and they're right there to communicate with but you, you can't for whatever reason mm -hmm. yeah so you, you you actually had uh one one person that you have in the movie that you could talk to uh -huh. and her name was suzanne clement the actress plays amalur mm -hmm. so how did you work together? It was a relief to have her. We, we filmed all the, 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 the isolation first, and then when she came on, on set, it was a relief because I actually I finally had somebody to play off of. Mm. And she's a brilliant actress, and it was, it was a, a joy to, to work with her. And um, I think she really makes the movie. I wish she could be here. I mean, I, I think her performance is, is, is really special. And, I think she elevates the, 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 the film to a, a higher level. So, so it was very easy to work with her. And I, I felt some of that same relief that the character feels, that there's finally someone to talk yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so, but, it's, but, but then again, she doesn't speak my language. So <laughs> again, it's sort of the, the conundrum uh, and the, the sad truth of the movie is even if you have somebody that's there that you think you can communicate with, so it's not as simple as that. But they find find ways to, to, to connect and to um, communicate without language. Which I think, it's, it's, it's a pretty dark movie, but there's 
flashes of humor, and I think a, some of the humor comes through in this inability to know what, what each other is saying, and uh, I think that's that's a, a good, good opportunity to miscommunication is funny in some ways. Mm -hmm. um, or it's, it's, it's right on that line of like frustrating and funny and relatable, you know. We, I think we all feel like what we're saying to, to other people doesn't quite register in the same way that we're trying to say it and something human about that. So how did you relate to this soul character? Like what, what, was the, what were the parts that you mostly empathized with? Uh, just how lost he is. <laughs> okay. um, how I relate to characters who are struggling, going through a, a different, a, a difficult time, who who have a hard time, um, who have a hard time relating to people, or have a hard time knowing what to say or knowing what to do. I, I, but but I think he he's trying. You know, he, he doesn't stop trying. He, years and years go by, and he still is 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 doing what he can to survive and to get through. And and I I really related to to his um, focus on his family and his 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 sort of um, just grappling with how to speak with his family, finding mm -hmm. new ways to communicate. I keep coming back to this communication. You know, I think it's a movie about communication and disconnect and trying to bridge that gap. So did you find maybe something that you could use in your own life, like through this character, like some aspects where like, hmm, this might come in handy or... <laughs> <laughs> um, Somehow understand yourself better. I well, I think, I think, I'm, I don't consider myself a, a, a natural actor, in a, in a tr traditional sense. But I do. The one thing I do love about acting is, is embodying a different reality and embodying a different character who, that sort of helps you understand your life in in, uh, in ways that you did. I mean, it, I think just the process of acting in a movie and being around. Um, a, a crew of people and a cast of people who are working together to to create this 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 fantasy world. I think that's always going to be. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say with that. Um, <laughs> um, I think. I think the. I think I. I maybe maybe I maybe I understood how to um, write notes to my family. I, the, the character um, writes notes. Yeah. That's how he communicates. That's, and so, um, no, I didn't learn anything. <laughs> I'm trying to, yeah. Hey, if you didn't, then you didn't. <laughs> Maybe it will just come to you later. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know if it comes to me. Yeah. So, who would you say this movie is for, or like, who, who would you recommend it to? To all the lonely people. All the lonely people. I think, you know, just people who are into movies that are more uh, measured and less plot driven, less action oriented. Um, and uh, yeah, just I, I, I think it's a pretty universal story, even though it's mm. it's it's quiet and it's small. Um, I, I think it has a lot of resonance with uh, with a modern society and, and the disconnect that people often feel from um, for whatever reason, you know, working different hours than your your family, or being separated in 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 whatever way you're separated from your mm -hmm. family or friends, it's easier, I think, these days, especially in the United States, to feel disconnected um, from your your fellow person. So I, I think it resonates on that level, sort of speaking to that condition of disconnection in the modern society. Mm -hmm. Are are you yourself a night person? No. No. I, I Do you get your eight hours of sleep? Yes. <laughs> I, I, I sleep. Uh, I have a really normal I, schedule. Okay. I go to sleep pretty early. Wake up early. Yeah. yeah. That's good. That's good. So you also have like a, a platform, 
as I read from the internet, mm-hmm. like uh, where you can, um, it's it's for indie indie movies. Maybe yeah. you can. Maybe you want to talk about that. Yeah. I, no, no budge. So, uh, yeah. What I, is no budge? Well, no budge is a is a platform that I founded for uh, short films. It's a, sort of it's an f- online film festival of sorts mm. um, where we premiere new indie short films every day on the on the site and uh, all over the world. S- sort of just taking the idea of a film festival and putting it online. Um, and we also have live screenings in New York, but it, it's basically just for sort of first-time filmmakers finding their voices, emerging visions. Um, movies that are made very cheaply with very limited resources but I think um, contain a, a, a real uh, energy and, and, and fresh take mm. on things it's a, uh, yeah and a lot of a lot of comedy stuff a lot of um, edgy weird short films from like I said all over the world mm. have you also visited some of the movies here or yes you, did I, you I see saw, anything? I, I saw a movie called Psychosis, I think. Maybe it was Psychosis. Maybe I'm getting t- the title wrong. But it it was very profound, um, and uh, I, I really enjoyed the visual components. And it was a very promising movie and very great performances. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. That's the the thing that I've seen that resonated with me the most. Mm. So what, what, what is the, maybe the biggest, biggest uh, lesson or the experience that you took from the Soul movie? I, well, I, I th- probably patience because it took a long time to make and I didn't, I'm just so happy to be here and the movie be finished because I, for, for, some movies you make, they happen really quick. You make the movie and that year they're premiering at a film festival. This one, this, we filmed this three years ago and it's been very uh, like hard to, to find the, the rhythm and the tone of the movie in the, in the edit. And so I think the, but, you know, but it's, it, 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 it's there now. So, I mean, I think it's just a, a matter of, a lot of movies just take a long time to, to form and, and get right. So. It's, I've had, it's tested my patience, but I think that's um, it's a good trait to test. Definitely, in this day and age, where everybody's very busy all the time, yeah, and yeah, wanting now and instant gratification and all of that. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I, I think I think that's a. Um, uh, since everything's so instant now, and everything is so. Um, you, you know, there's no, there's no waiting around for, um, well, you know, whatever you just said. <laughs> I, I said it, I'm repeating myself. Oh, it's good. We just need a little bit of slowness in our yeah. lives, Slow I down. think. Yeah, I mean, thank you. Thank you. And best of luck with thank the so much. premiere. So, so happy to be here. Good. Minu ka oli saates filmi öös on inimesi peasa täitja, Kent Tucker Oddly. Ja filmi saab veel näha kolmapäeval 27. novembril Tartu elektriteatris ning reedel 29. novembril Kinosartis. Nii et kasutage võimalust ja mingi kindlasti kinno.